This is going to be a full print on demand tutorial showing you exactly how to find your niche, your design you want to make, how to make that design with AI in no time, how to create a listing, research keywords, research trademarks, and upload your design to your favorite print on demand platform. If you follow with me, guys, everything's going to be done step by step. So all you have to do is apply what I'm showing you and watch those sales roll in. Right. I'm not going to waste any time. Let's get going. Right, the first step is we need to find the design that is currently making waves selling really well and then we're going to recreate it in our own way because we know that that niche is already validated and that people are already buying that design and the best thing to do that is to go to merch dominator one of the best ways is to go to best sellers and check the best sellers in the platform as we're scrolling down we can see all the best sellers that are currently making waves this design is huge right now as you guys can see see the BSR is going down and the sales are going up and currently it has estimated sales of 39,982 as of today and that is per month guys massive 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 potential right here but I'm going to show you something a little bit more creative so as we're scrolling down I can see this design looks really really nice and it's targeting the Juneteenth niche now before I go ahead and create it I want to make sure that it's actually selling well what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to product search so open in product search and then i'm going to only keep stepping into juneteenth delete this part as you guys can see it's currently being searched on amazon and i'm going to click on merge by amazon search so that we can only get merge by amazon results this way we don't get distracted by other products and fba products as well looking at the bsr of this niche it looks really really good as you guys can see it's below a million so that means it's making sales every single day pretty much some of them are selling every day some of them are selling every two or three days etc so i'm going to get inspired by this niche now the next bit is checking the trademark to make sure that there's nothing trademarks in this niche right here i'm going to open the details page here in merch dominator and i'm going to click on tm like this and then it's going to scan the entire listing for any trademarks we can see some keywords trademarked however these keywords are normal keywords so it is okay to use them not a problem at all. If it was something like Disney or Gucci, then obviously we can't use them. But Juneteenth, Great Day, Freedom, we can use them with no issues. Now, this is for status filed and registered. I want to make sure I only check the registered trademarks. So I'm going to click on search again. And as you guys can see, there's nothing that is trademarked that is not a normal keyword, right? So we've got perfect black roots. Let's so any of this stuff we're not going to worry about. I'm going to assume that this niche is safe. Now, the next step is making this design with AI and it's literally so easy it's going to take about five minutes at most now I'm going to click on this button to download the original PNG of this design to get inspiration from it this is it as you guys can see and now I'm going to go to Kittle to create a new project and create my design there and for those of you who are not familiar with Kittle Kittle is a fantastic design platform which allows you to make designs quickly either for your print-on-demand products, logos if you're a freelancer, and even if you're a professional designer. This is because it's very seamless and it has many great AI features which will speed up your design process and as you guys know time is money. And with Kittle we make sure that we make the most of it. And one of the things I like about Kittle is that you don't need to download anything, it's all web-based and it literally has everything all in one place. So many templates you can use, it's got fonts, design elements, masking, the ability to generate your or images or designs with AI and tweak them a little bit, etc. etc. You can generate quotes, images, backgrounds. I find that it's much easier to use than Photoshop or Illustrator, and it just gets the job done much, much quicker. Not gonna bore you too much, but we're gonna see it all in action. So I'm gonna click on new project and then I'm gonna click on POD presets and I'm gonna choose the merge by Amazon preset because it's already got the right dimensions 4500 by 5400 and then click on create. Fantastic. I'm gonna make my my background color black just so I can see what I'm doing just like that 
perfect. Just click on the canvas and it pops up. Now next, I'm going to import this picture right here just so I can get some inspiration from it. Just like that, make it slightly bigger. Fantastic. Now I need to create this bit right here. The sneakers with this hand as a fist right here. So I need to go to Kittle AI and I need to enter my prompt. And this is where I need to describe what I want Kittle AI to create for me. I put my prompt right here and I'm going to select this clip art style, which is t-shirt graphic and then click on generate image. I quite like this image. So I'm going to need to remove the background, click on AI background remover. And I'm happy with this output. So I just need to make it bigger. Fantastic. Now I need to work on the text. I'm going to click on text, click on add headline, change the color to white, just so I can see what I'm doing. Just like that, make it bigger and then type my text, step in. I need to change the font, obviously. I need a script font. So I'm going to use this one right here. Maybe make it wider a little bit. I'm going to do five. And then I'm going to need to add the gradient text color. Instead of solid color, I'm going to choose linear gradient. going to move it right here. Create another one in the middle. Move this one right here as well. Now I need to change the colors. So I'll go with green and then yellow and then red. Just like that. I'm going to make it zero like this. Move it around a little bit until you're happy. That looks all right. Now what I'm thinking to do is make it curved a little bit like this. I'm going to curve it like that. Bring it down like that. I should be fine. And I'm going to click on Alt and then move. I'm going to remove the transform. Remove this as well. I'm going to type into so I can fit it somehow here. Turn it around a little bit. And then now I need Juneteenth here. Another text. Click on Add Headline. Make it white just so I can see what I'm doing again. OK, I need to change the font, obviously. Let me type Juneteenth. I'm going to use this one right here and I need the same gradient again. I'm thinking to put it underneath the trainers or sneakers. And this is how we do it. We go to layers and this Juneteenth, we're going to put it under the illustration image, just like this. Fantastic. And that looks good. Now, one other thing left is we need to make it bigger, obviously. And I'm thinking for white t-shirts, if I'm going to do a white t-shirt, I need to add like a stroke or like a drop shadow. But I have to remove this black background just so I can see what I'm doing. Let's click on this one first. So we're going to go to effects. I'm going to choose this one right here. I'm going to choose the color black. And obviously, I'm going to need to change this. That looks good. Same thing here. Looking good. Nice. I'm going to need to also add some drop shadow to this image right here. I'm going to use this one just like that. And now it looks like the trainers are stepping on Juneteenth. So stepping into Juneteenth, stepping on Juneteenth kind of has a great impact. Now I'm going to add the black background. That looks hard, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And once you're happy with your design, you can go ahead and download it in order to upload it to your preferred print on demand platform. So click on download, click on remove background and click on download like that. And that looks decent. If you guys are wondering, I'm subscribed to the expert plan, which gives me 80 AI credits per day, which is more than enough to create so many designs plus much more. If you guys want to get started with Kittle, I'm going to leave you a 25% discount for the first month or the first year of any of these plans. My advice is if you're able to go for the expert yearly plan because you can get 25% off for the entire year and that's the best deal you can get. And the coupon code you're going to want to use is Mr. Addy YT and you'll be able to see it right here. I'll also leave it for you in the description. And to be able to claim the discount, you need to use this exact coupon code with the link that I'm going to leave you down below in the description. Now that we've created our design, we need to generate a listing for that design, which means we need to find the keywords and also do trademark research, etc. That's also easy. We're going to do it with AI. There are many ways of doing it, but I'm going to show you the easiest way of creating your merch by Amazon listings. I'm going to need two tools. The first one is the red bubble tag generator. And the second one is the AI listing creator. The firstly, I already know which title I'm going to use. I'm just going to use this one right here because I can see that they're using all the keywords I want to use. I'm going to go to bullets, autofill, I'm going to get my prompts, which you can create from here. By the way, we're going to rework this uh, AI listing creator. It's going to be much, much easier. It's going to do some mind blowing things as well. So watch out for that. I'm going to put this as my title. Perfect. Next, we're going to need to get some keywords. Don't use too many keywords because you don't want to confuse the AI. And I'm literally going to get the main keyword, which is stepping into Juneteenth. And I'm going to plug it into the tag generator red bubble. Click on search. There we go, guys. We've got loads and loads of keywords that we can use. 
for Juneteenth, freedom, African American, 1865, independence, melanin, black pride, heritage, African American history, this one as well, black culture. I think that's enough for now. And then I'm going to click on copy and then copy selected. Now we're going to go back to AI listing creator and then we're going to paste our keywords. We're going to copy all the keywords, click on autofill again, and then use the prompt for the description. Again, paste your keywords and then click on submit. And there is your listing created in one second, pretty much. And it reads really well. Now we need to make sure that we read our listing and make sure that it doesn't have anything that's infringing. It doesn't use keywords that Amazon doesn't let us use, etc. And when you read it, guys, it sounds really, really good. You can save your listing if you want to in whatever group you want. Choose your filters and do your trademark search. So I'm going to click on USPTO, registered, nice class 25, word, and then click on check trademarks. For my experience, I know that Independence Day is fine. All this stuff is fine. I can use it with no issues. And then I put my design right here. Now it's time to choose the colors and the pricing and all of that. If I price at $21.99 on this t-shirt, I can make $6.37 with one sale. So that is amazing considering I don't have to do any customer service or do any printing or holding inventory stock or doing shipping or anything like that. That's really, really good. Now we're going to copy our listing in our favorite print on demand platform of choice. I'm going to use Merch by Amazon and you come down here, you put your title, your brand, bullet points one and two and your description. Then you click on publish and then publish again. Wait for it for a little while to go from processing to live and wait for the sales to roll in. If you guys want to get started with Merch Dominator, feel free to enter this coupon code right here, 50 off, click on apply and you'll get 50% off. Instead of $49, you'll get it for $24.50 per month and the annual option is the best because you only pay for 10 months and you get 12 months and on top of that you get 50% off. So it works out $245 for the entire year divided by 12, that's about $20 per month and you can get access to all the tools that Merch Dominator has to offer. I'm going to leave you guys links to all the services and print on demand resources that you need in the description. Whether you need a Merch by Amazon account, my full Merch by Amazon course, the profitable niches service, one-to-one -one coaching, the free ultimate guide to print on demand success, $10k a month formula, PDF, or any of the print on demand tools and resources, either for free or with heavy discounts. You'll find all the links down below in the description. I hope you guys got some value out of this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.